Well, thanks, Shaka. Despite assurances from the Zimbabwe government and the political parties that the July 31st elections will be held peacefully, many critics remain unconvinced that it will be free and fair. Some fear a repeat of the 2008 poll when President Robert, Robert Mugabe and Morgan Shangirai agreed to form a power-sharing government to avoid a full-scale conflict in the wake of a violent presidential runoff election that Shangirai boycotted, citing violence against his supporters. This leads us to our question of the week. Can Zimbabwe hold free and fair elections that will be received that would be perceived credible by the people of Zimbabwe and the international community. Well, let's begin with a comment from Rafael Sama in Tanzania who writes, yes, Zimbabwe can hold free and fair elections, but the problem is the negative attitude of the Western countries and their media that spreads bad news about the third world countries. Another comment comes from Lamek Firi who attends the University of Zambia he also says, yes, indeed, it is possible for Zimbabwe to hold free and fair elections if the people unite and observe the elections at all the polling stations. Lamek adds that the international observers should also come in to help so that fairness is maintained. Shaka? Very interesting, very interesting. What do you think about that, uh, Dan? <laughs> uh, first of all, you have Ndugu from Tanzania. Uh, who seems to think uh, the problem, frankly, is not uh, in Harare. The problem is from outside. What about that? Uh, I thought that the media were supposed to be messengers rather than the message. That's the thing right there. There's no independent media in Zimbabwe. There's only government-controlled media. People in Zimbabwe are starved of real news because the government shapes what it wants them to hear and want them to listen to. When you say government control <clears throat> media, does it mean, for example, that uh, Prime Minister Changilai can actually go to Zambia Broadcasting Corporation and appear there, or he can't? Well, he can certainly, he can appear outside Zimbabwe, but within Zimbabwe, he cannot go to Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation in fact, he's been holding star rallies that have been attended by thousands and thousands of Zimbabweans, and those have not been covered at all by the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation. What about that, uh, Mr. Ambassador? Well, Is that true? Yeah, well, the, I, I think that um, I, I, I'm inclined myself to, to take the word of those who are organizing the elections, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, mm -hmm. Uh, they are confident that we, we can have free and fair elections. The security um, apparatus, that is the police, uh, they, they have assured us that um, we, we will have uh, uh, peaceful elections and free and fair elections. And above all, um, the president and, and, and the prime minister, they've, they've both uh, been preaching the word of uh, peaceful elections. Mm -hmm. Now, recently, the African Union, which is going to uh, observe these elections, uh, as well as the uh, SADC, the Southern African Development Community, both of them have said they are confident that uh, Zimbabweans are going to have free and fair and peaceful elections.